Controlling your lights from your phone only makes it a remote controlled house. Your thermostat adjusting the temperature when you leave only makes it an automated house. But what makes a smart house? It's data. The understanding of that data and the ability to share that data with you in many ways. This is Vaughn with Open Source Automation and I will show you how a real smart home does this. The most important way to express that data is visually. What we have here is a Windows 10 application that will display you know, text information, graphical information, animated sensors, uh, the doors open and close, the windows are alarmed and can be animated, status of computers can be displayed, lighting levels. Door opened. Oh, I just moved myself into the bedroom. Shows you how it displays uh, motion and movement around the house. Uh, being able to mouse over and see you know statistics and you can put anything you can think of on here extended weather forecast IP camera we can pan and tilt and control live and where everyone's at the particular levels of particular lights now this is a Windows 10 application it's fully resizable so you can run it on tablets or um, small devices and as you can see in the background here, there's also a web version of the same screen. So anywhere you go in the world, you can see the status of your house and control what you need to control. So visually is very important. A great way to demonstrate smarts is just by talking to a system. And there are a lot of chat systems out there, but let's demonstrate some intelligence. So let's just say who is here okay so it knows Vaughn and Larry are here but does it really understand that let's ask it some questions to demonstrate that is Vaughn here and of course you can use pronouns um, am I here I'll generate the same where am I where am I at so it it knows I'm here it knows my location it knows I'm in the kitchen am I in the kitchen and it should be able to answer all these questions about that information oops if I can type so what is the kitchen's occupants? So it knows it's in there. It knows how many people. So um, I'll demonstrate some of this with voice because it's a little quicker than typing. But you can see here that you can give any commands or ask any questions about what's going on in your system if you're not able to see the graphical display just by chatting with it from anywhere on any phone. If you're at home though, of course, you can just talk to the system and don't have to chat with it via text. And it's a great demonstration of smart. So I'll try to give you a little conversation here. Computer? Yes, Master. Who am I? Vaughn. What am I? A person. What is my email address? Vonrup at yahoo.com Where am I? In the kitchen. Am I in the kitchen? Yes. Am I in the bedroom? No. What is the kitchen's occupants? Vaughn. What are you? A system. Where are you? In the house. What is the kitchen's temperature? 77. 
What is the kitchen's light level? 100. What is the kitchen's occupant count? 1. Who is here? Larry and Vaughn are here. Who is my father? Larry. What is Larry's mobile phone? I do not know Larry's mobile phone. Because Larry doesn't have a mobile phone. <laughs> I do not know Larry's home phone. Thank you. My pleasure. So just being able to talk to a system, find out the information you want, and even set some information, control the lights, uh, just through conversation, that is a staple of a smart home. Thanks for watching.